Hello, I had a request to do a tutorial on Rub and Buff, so that's what we're going to do today. And for those of you that don't know, Rub and Buff is like a paint that makes things look metallic. It makes it look like real metal. So this is what Rub and Buff looks like. And they come in lots of different colors. The most common ones you're going to see are gold and silver. So for gold, that's how I did my Uggie Buggy, and I have a time lapse video of me doing the rub and buff on Uggie Buggy if you want to check that out. I will put a link in the description for that video. Um, but today we're going to be using the silver rub and buff, and we're going to be using it on this stand. And somebody asked me to make this stand for them. Um, it's for a doll, they accidentally broke theirs, so I'm making them a new one, and we're going to use silver rub and buff on it today. So yeah, let's get started. Um, before you do start though, I highly recommend using some gloves if you're using your fingers. Um, and there are two different ways that most people commonly do this. They'll either do it with their finger or with a paintbrush. And um, I'll kind of show you both, but for the most part I'm going to use my finger. Now the reason I prefer to use my finger, and if you're new you probably want to use your finger, is because you can use a paintbrush, but the thing is, is when you use a paintbrush, the bristles are soft. And you'll usually want to use the rub and buff with the paintbrush horizontal and not vertical because you don't want the bristles to get in between all these details and cracks. You want to just rub the surface of the details so you keep those dark places and make a nice contrast, make your silver pop. Um, but the bristles are flexible so they can still accidentally get in those cracks. You might lose some of your shadow versus when you use your finger it's completely flat. You're most likely just going to hit those high points. So if you're just starting off, you might want to use your finger instead. Um, please just use gloves if you're doing that. Uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys can still hear me okay. I'm just going to pop on a mask because this stuff does kind of have a chemically smell to it and I don't like it. Um, I'm kind of sensitive to chemically things, so the mask's just going to help filter some of that out for me. Okay, so what I like to do is use my muscles. Okay. Pop this open and I'll put some of it down somewhere. And then I will take my finger, make sure I get the nice flat part of my finger, and I'm just going to rub my finger in it like this. Make sure you don't have a whole lot of extra on your finger because you don't want it to drip into the, the cracks. You just want to get the tops. And then make sure your finger is horizontal and you're just going to start rubbing it on. And I did paint this black before I started. I like to start with a black base um, because anything your rubbing buff doesn't hit is going to be your shadows, and I just like blacks for my shadows. So yeah, I'm just taking my time. Anytime um, I'm not getting as much product, it's starting to look darker. I'll just add some more to my finger. You can already see how quick this is making this look like metal, which is totally awesome. Now my finger can't really get in those cracks, so I'm going to be careful with the paintbrush here. 
Um, because you can see that inner ring, it's just a little too dark. It doesn't look real or convincing to me, so get some more of them both. I'm going to get a little on my paintbrush and I don't want it to be too strong right off the bat so I'm just going to kind of blend it and get a little off my brush before we start. Okay, I'm just carefully going in. You mostly want to keep the dark where the high and low meet, or where there's like a strong edge. So you'll see like around here, I don't want to lose these shadows too much because it makes it pop, it makes a nice contrast. Just rubbing some of the extra off my finger because I don't want to go too, too heavy. But yeah, that was really, really easy. And we have something that looks a bit more like metal now. So. Also, this stuff doesn't dry too well, so be really careful touching it until you seal it with something. And how I like to seal mine is I will use a clear spray paint, and I'll use usually like glossy or semi-glossy to help with that whole metal look. Um, I haven't tried matte on top of this stuff, but I'm not sure if that would kind of take away from the metal look. The metal is typically kind of shiny. Okay. Mm, there we have it. So yeah, I'm just going to take some clear spray paint and seal this all in and wait till it's dry and then I should be able to touch it with my bare hands and nothing should come off on me. So yeah, I hope that was helpful.